Hey, what's up guys? Hey, we're back today to present you with a quick, clean, and easy meal. So after getting home and on uh, limited time, I raid the pantry and the refrigerator and what I pull out and prepare can be done in 25 minutes or less. I present to you baked tilapia and cauliflower with a side of edamame. Let's get to it. So we're going to begin by preheating the oven to 425. And since the cauliflower bake takes the longest to cook, we'll start with it by peeling and chopping an onion. <laughs> Don't do as I did in the video and cut the wrong end of the damn onion. My eyes watered for most of the video shoot. Once chopped, we're going to add to a large mixing bowl that contains the cauliflower. I used two bags of frozen cauliflower I had in the freezer and I set it in the refrigerator for a day or two. After we add the onions, we want to drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil and mix well. You'll want to have a towel handy because it gets a little messy here. Next, we'll sprinkle in a few spices. Today, I used some coarse black pepper, some jalapeno garlic, some Himalayan pink salt, and mix it in real well. And then I'm going to add some fresh white mushrooms and a bit more of olive oil and continue to mix. For now, I'll set this aside and prep the baking pan for the oven. I'll just lightly oil the bottom and the sides of the dish before pouring in the cauliflower mixture. We'll place this dish in the oven, preheated to 425 like I mentioned earlier, for approximately 20 minutes or until the cauliflower is tender. And a nice aroma coming from the oven, you know, the mushrooms and the onions have cooked down. As we wait for the timer to count down, we can prep our baking sheet for the tilapia with a thin coat of olive oil. We're going to add the tilapia to the pan, giving a little space between the fillets and season it with your choice of seasoning. Since it only bakes for seven to nine minutes at 425, we'll set aside and check on our cauliflower. Like I said, once the cauliflower is tender and the onions and mushrooms have cooked down, we'll remove it from the oven. At this time, I'll place the tilapia in our second oven that's also preheated at 425 for seven to nine minutes. And you'll want to check that internal temperature, you know, get it to 140, 145 degrees. And then I'm going to place the first oven to high broil. And while we're doing that, while that's on broil, or what, the reason we're doing that is once the cauliflower is ready, we're going to sprinkle the, with the top of it with shredded Parmesan cheese and place it in the oven for three to five minutes and let that melt and crisp the dish. Looks like the cauliflower is done and it's time to pull out the tilapia. I did throw a bag of shell edamame in the microwave for another side. Since I didn't really cook it, it's not included in the video except for serving the plates. Here it is. Quick, easy, and clean meal in less than 30 minutes. Two fillets, two cups of cauliflower bake, and a cup of edamame come to around 500 calories, giving you 69 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like, subscribe, Big Juice out.